Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome to another vlog. I've been doing a few vlogs recently, hopefully you guys have been enjoying. Uh, this is kind of a sequel to the first vlog I did, which was a vlog regarding my experience at Comic-Con and a Yu-Gi-Oh! art show. If you have not seen that video, I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. Uh, and we are going to be going to New York City once again. Uh, I met a very nice man named Mark there, who I believe does work for uh, Konami. Really awesome dude, and I asked him uh, if there was a way maybe I could um, purchase a poster, not a poster, but a, um, a piece of art that was on the wall that did not have a listing price. It was one of those, you know, prices ask at the front desk, and I was like, all right, this is gonna be expensive. And as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, I have decided to go ahead and, and purchase this piece of art, one of a kind art. He's giving it to me at a, a pretty, a very fair deal. And uh, the only catch is we have to drive into New York City to pick it up, uh, drive into Midtown, drive into Times Square, the, the 4K Media headquarters, if you will. Um, small price to pay, though. I, I cannot wait to get this piece of art. I've thought long and hard about it, and this is going to be something that it's just going to look amazing. It is the piece of art that was on the thumbnail for the last video uh, with the illuminated frame and all. The box is 52 inches by 45 inches. It is a massive piece of art. So we measured all of the cars we have at my household. No car could fit a box that was 52 inches wide in it. Luckily, family friend, a great friend, great guy named Jay, he came through. He's off today. We're going to be going in his truck, in his van, and we are going to be putting the piece of art in that van. So myself, my mom, and Jay are going into Midtown uh, to meet up and, and pick up this piece of art. Yes, yeah, so I'll show you guys the setup, of course, in my basement when it's all complete, and uh, in this video, of course. And yeah, I'm excited. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's go into New York. And we were off. Thanks to my good friend Jay and my mom, of course, for joining us, and Jay's truck, most importantly. We were on our way to Konami Cross Media in New York City. Always working overtime, working with the lights off. Yeah, lights off. But this is just something that I can't get my mind off. And I'm running from the truth, truth, truth. Thinking about you. After a 90 minute drive into the city, we finally arrived at the Konami Cross Media office. Now, we were told to go in through the back where kind of the freight entrance is for the uh, Konami Cross Media Studios or the headquarters, and that is because this box was so massive that they had to take it down via the freight elevator. So, I did not actually go into the 4K Media Studios, which I was not really expecting to, but this is where all of the big packages that go into the office, or in this case, exit the office come through what you're seeing on screen right now is the freight elevator that a gentleman named Chris would come down I believe he is a digital producer really awesome and chill guy he would come down the elevator and he would hand me this big cardboard box and as you can see, we transported the box into the car. Of course, I did not film him or the interaction or anything like that because I feel like it's rude to film while people are talking, especially when you're meeting someone for the first time. Uh, but we moved the box to the car, to the trunk. It fit beautifully. We also had this long secondary rectangular box, which contained another poster um, that was also thrown into the package, which I'll be showing you guys a little later. And we were set to go home with the goods. Uh, unfortunately, by the time we left, it was rush hour. It took us about two hours to get back to home, to get back to Jersey, because rush hour was at a complete standstill in Midtown of New York City in Times Square. But it did not matter because we had what we wanted, and I could not be any more elated than I was at that moment. We made it, transported it. It's lovely. This is the um, where I believe all the posters are. But I um, think I'm going to put it on that wall right there. You can see that big Dark Magician card, which I haven't even really talked about. I'm actually giving one of those away. I'm not sure if that video is out yet um, by the time this goes up. But I think I'm going to take down everything from that wall. I'm going to put up all the paintings. I have some more over there. And yeah, we'll do a nice before and after shot. So this one wasn't even for sale. Um, this is one that they threw in that's going to fit into that big frame. Not for sale, I should say, but I didn't even know they had this poster in the size that could fit in the frame, the 36 by 48. So they threw this into me, not for free, but I did, I got a very good deal on it. 
Um, and actually when Chris, who was the gentleman that helped me at the freight elevator came down, he said, this wasn't for sale either at the New York art show. This was the LA exhibit. They gave this to me for free as well. So I'll definitely be framing that, putting that up against the wall. And again, just as a reminder, I have some of them are framed, some of them still aren't, but um, you know, it's a mess, got the nice dual disc there. Uh, but I will be putting them all up and this is just, uh, this is gorgeous, man. So right now I have two of these pictures that can fit in the illuminated frame, um, but I only have one frame. Maybe at some point I'll look into getting a second frame, but right now I would have to switch out the photos, but, but this was an amazing addition, man. So we busted it out. We already lit it up. It's not hung up just yet but I cannot believe that I own this piece of art. I mean, it is the piece that was the highlight of the New York City Art Gallery. And here it is in my actual basement, Dan Mumford's Yugi versus Kaiba. Uh, not lit up. We have the illuminated frame, the same exact frame, that a very expensive frame, might I add, uh, that was on display at the Art Gala. We have the plug, we have the outlet going to mount it to the wall and when it's all mounted when I take off all these posters uh, I'm going to show it to you guys and man this is exciting so the deconstructing is about to begin uh, I have every other poster framed currently except this one this one's a very weird in terms of dimension it's not 16 by 20 so there would be a little bit of an empty space you can see my futon right there if I just framed it regularly. I think when I take down these posters, probably the MLB one, the MLB one's not even right. Uh, one of the teams is not even in that league anymore. I'm probably gonna cut out that MLB poster and then use that as a white backdrop. So that'll look kind of normal. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put two of these on each side of, of the big poster. You can kind of see it there. And then probably one, 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 put two on each side as well. Uh, and then, of course, I have this. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this in the frame just yet or move it up to my attic or get a second frame. At some point in my life, I definitely am going to splurge on a second illuminated f uh, frame. So I'm going to have both of these. Like this, again, this size wasn't even on display at the art show, guys. So, like, it's surreal that I even have one this big. Love that shot of you, say. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of a before shot. I've had these posters on this wall for literally, like, 15 years probably so it really especially that MLB one so it really is crazy that this is like the end of an era but I'm excited to get to work so uh yeah let's begin this does not look right man I mean literally for a decade and a half I've been down here and this wall has been pretty much filled with posters it just looks weird so actually most of them were salvageable this Red Dead 2 one was a gift from Nick T love it and this Witcher 3 one is beautiful uh, I'm not, probably not going to hang that one up, at least down here. But uh, yeah, I'll probably find different places to put these. But a completely blank wall at the moment. So it is up. Not the, the wall's not done yet, but it is up. And my lord, is it magnificent. Of course, it's hard to see it with the uh, the glowing light, but I mean, just cannot tell you how good it looks. I mean, I, I can't believe that this is actually hanging up in my freaking basement. Shout out to everyone at Konami, man, um, for help for letting me purchase this piece of art. And yeah, you really do need one of the things that Mark said to me is that you really do need the illuminated frame. He was the gentleman I spoke to at the gala for something this big because otherwise it just kind of looks like a mirror and the illuminated frame just does such an amazing job at bringing this to life and let me turn off just to show off how much light it emits let me turn off every single thing every single light in my basement so my basement normally would be pitch black i mean dude i could have some incredible gaming sessions down here with just this being the only light source and i mean Oh man, it is just, it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I'm gonna have the rest of the wall up and completed soon. But Jesus Christ, guys, this is, this is freaking, it was worth every penny. This is freaking insane. Hey, what's up guys? All right, so Kate is just getting here now. Uh, she, neither of any of my friends for the matter, uh, have seen what my basement currently looks like. We're almost done. Uh, I've put up some more pictures and the wall is coming along beautifully. And uh, yeah, we're going to record her reaction to, to seeing everything. Look what you've done, you've made a fool of... Is it on? Hold on. Oh, 
Holy crap. That's insane. That is so freaking beautiful. Yeah. What the hell? That's so big too. Yeah, I mean it's 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 massive. Like in comparison, like these are pretty decently sized. Yeah, like when and they look small. Yeah, because when you had these like laid out on the table over there, they seemed very big. But now that you're like they're next to this. Yeah. yeah. That looked incredible in the video, but like seeing it in person, it that's that's insane. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Every time I come down here, I just marvel at it. It shouldn't be. But hey, if it is, you know what, what? What happened is, how are you? Good to see you. Really good. I <laughs> incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ! Yeah, I didn't tell you that I uh, I oh, got I, it. I figured you were going, but I didn't know when. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, and the display is unreal. Yeah, dude, this <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> Dude, you look at fly, bro. Thanks, man. You too. You clean up, though. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you it's do. funny because I got the haircut before Saturday. Wow. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it, man. Wow. This is the first time you're seeing it. This is the first time, man. Because you didn't come to the gallery. I did not. I mean, I seen the, the smaller version, but like all lit up and everything. I didn't think it would light up. Wow. Yeah, you got to see the amount of light it emits. Hold on. Oh my god. I mean oh, you we you, can do the stream like this. Just well I was gonna say we when we're doing our next like gaming session, this is gonna be the yeah, only light that's on. Light. That's so sick. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Man. I feel like you in the thumbnail where I'm like I'm just looking at it like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, I love that's it. That's incredible. Man. Yeah, yeah. Money well spent? Money well spent, absolutely. Right. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen. It has been completed. Uh, the wall is finally finished. Huge thank you to my dad who helped me massively with hanging up all of the posters. But the final product a week later, literally exactly a week later, uh, is here. And uh, let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is my own little mini Yu-Gi-Oh! art gallery. Uh, starting all the way to the right, this was the New York City Comic Con exclusive poster of uh, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, an absolutely sick looking poster. Now in the video and the recording, there's a lot of reflections. Looking at them in real life, like actually in person, you don't really see those reflections, I'm seeing them through the camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run an LED light up here, up on this strip, I'm gonna tape it up here. So, because like, they're very dark. I don't really have good lighting over here. My strong lights are where my studio is. I have strong lights over there as well. So I'm gonna do that. So it's not fully complete yet, but we have the Blue Eyes Ultimate. We have the Los Angeles promo poster for when they had the art show in LA. Then we have our smaller pictures. We have the Exodia, the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. And then of course, you know, the masterpiece that I've already uh, reveled at many times. Osiris, which I love that picture. I think the frame goes really well with it. And then again, hard to see, but it's a creepy looking picture of Exodia. The New York City art show uh, promo. So it's cool. I have the New York City one and the LA one over there. And then Heart of the Cards, Seto Kaiba versus Yugi Moto. I believe the date that that duel took place, uh, which is really, really cool. And that completes uh, kind of like a mini Yu-Gi-Oh! art gala. And again, I'm going to get lighting to run on the top strip here to give these posters hopefully a little more life to them and again down here we have our button that illuminates this uh, and so yeah this is how this is how the wall looks guys completed and uh, it looks absolutely incredible you know I really like when I was in that art gallery I said to Nick T I said if I was rich I'd buy a lot of things in this art gallery unfortunately I am you know a broke post-college student I've always been pretty good at saving money and not making crazy purchases. This is a wall that from house to house, from year to year, decade to decade is always gonna follow me around. I always wanted to create kind of my own little Yu-Gi-Oh! art gallery. And while this does not compare to the gallery that was on display in New York City, uh, it's like my own little personal collection down here, which maybe I'll be able to add to as the years go on. And uh, I'm very thankful for everything you guys in the community have done. Very thankful for Mark and Chris at Konami for um, letting me purchase all of these things, for hosting the New York City Art Gala, everyone that was responsible for hosting that. 
And yeah, this is uh, this is a part of me now, and I'm I'm very thankful, and I'm really uh, really happy. So that pretty much is gonna conclude things here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed uh, another vlog on my channel. Maybe these will happen more frequently. Probably not, but yeah, this is my. Uh, new collection and hopefully i'll keep adding to it and maybe if i add to it i'll make some update videos every now and then not sure if i will add to it but uh we'll see thank you guys so much for watching let me know all your thoughts down below and i hope you have an amazing day thank you guys